stop is student stopping the trafficking of persons. And basically, stop tries to do just that. We look at the problem of human trafficking and all its forms and faces, from sex slavery to labor slavery, to people being kidnapped, their organs being cut from their bodies, and sold on the black market. All these things encompass uh, trafficking, which is today's version of slavery. First and foremost, we want to raise awareness. We want to raise awareness in our own community. We want to let people know what's going on. We want to let people outside of our immediate community what's going on in the region that we're in, in the state, and ultimately, hopefully, by the contacts we get with, with our families, with our friends, with the folks back home, we let them know what's going on. We let them know that there is a problem because if, if you don't know that there's a problem, you're never going to be able to fight that problem. STOP's goal is to figure out what practical steps we can make, long term and short term, in our personal lives and in the lives of the people around us, to make a difference and to fight for people who can't fight for themselves. One of the things that we've really been thinking about is how we can be conscientious consumers. Meaning, what stores do we buy from? What restaurants do we eat at? What products do we purchase that promote groups that traffic people in the world, both in the United States and outside of the United States? Students get so much more uh, out of their college experience. They learn so much more but they can do so much more if, if, if their college experience is not just relegated to taking 15 hours of classes, studying, doing the homework, passing exams, but just going and being a part of things like this. It teaches us how to enrich others' lives through the power of the gospel, but it also enriches our lives. It makes college so much more meaningful. Getting involved in the fight against human trafficking is a way to give of yourself after college, during college, whatever, um, and we're called to do that. We are called to give of ourselves.